Hello and welcome to GD Life at Pulse. Today we will talk about common mistakes and how to avoid these before and during the GD science exam. The first common mistake I want to talk about is taking the test before you are ready. It is very important to take your time and study before you take the test. I would recommend at least several weeks before the test, depending on your skill level. Before you take the test, when you're done with studying and you feel confident, confident start doing practice, practice tests and do these, if possible, under test conditions to see how you do. Um, test conditions meaning that these practice tests often have a time limit for you. So try to stick to the time limit, set a timer, approach the test, the practice test, like a real exam. Before you take the real GD test, take the GD Ready test. The GD Ready test is a very, very helpful tool that is available on the GD.com homepage. And it will give you an expected score and you will know if you are likely to pass the test or not. Um, not only that, the GD Ready test will as well um, give you a report that highlights the content areas in which you are good at, or in which you are good in, and the content areas that you still need to improve in and study more. The next point or thing to avoid is last minute studying and binge studying. So last minute studying obviously is never recommended, but as well binge studying. With binge studying, I mean, um, even if you start studying long before the test, uh, some days or you might feel really well and confident and you want to study a lot. So you study, so you study for hours a day without taking breaks, without drinking enough water. And then next day, you don't feel like studying, it was way too much the day before, or you maybe study, study three, four days in a row like this, and then you let it slack for another four, week or two. And then you fall back into that binge studying routine because you maybe start to panic and you know you have to do more. That is not very productive uh, way of studying. So start studying at least a couple of weeks before the exam. As we, already as we already said, the earlier you start studying, the more confident you will feel on test day. Show consistency in your studies and make a weekly study schedule. A schedule, a schedule as well will help you to visualize and reach goals. Take breaks when you study. Study for 30 to 45 minutes and take a 15 minute break. Don't spend that break on your smartphone or on your computer. Walk around, get moving, get your blood flowing, go outside a little bit, get some fresh air, drink some water. All these, all these things will help you to improve your retention of what you have learned and will increase your focus during the next study session. Don't find excuses on study day. You will have at least 30 minutes a day to study. Challenge yourself and set yourself small goals. These can be many goals. Don't set too big goals, which are far away to reach. Break them down into small baby steps so that you have a feeling of achievement every few days by reaching one of these goals. Again, put these goals maybe into your study timetable as well. When you want to reach them, see if you can do it. If you are too confident in setting your goals, again, if you set many small goals, you can change them later on. Instead of setting many big goals, you don't reach them, you're disappointed. If you can't reach the small goals in time as you have set them, that's no problem. Then you just need a bit more time and extend your study schedule. If you really struggle with a topic, don't be shy. You can ask questions. We have the internet nowadays. There are many forums where you can ask and you have, there are many, many people outside that are very willing to help you to understand these concepts. If that doesn't help you or you still struggle, you can schedule lessons with a tutor or take group classes to help you to understand the sciences. 
Another common mistake is that some people try to memorize questions and answers from practice tests. Um, the GD test is a problem solving test. It doesn't require you to remember facts or questions. These questions won't repeat in the GD tests. All facts that you need to answer a question in the real GD test will be given to you in the prompt with that comes with a question. All the facts are given to you in the text or in the graph that is related to the question. However, that doesn't mean that you are not supposed to know the basic concepts and theories in science. Now, it is very important to understand these concepts and theories to the core, as well as knowing the key vocabulary of these. Very often the key vocabulary that is related to a question will be explained in a text, but that might be sometimes a very complicated definition. So it is a very big advantage if you have a big science vocabulary with which you are confident and you know the definitions of important key terms for every concept and theory in science. This will make you uh, or help you understand uh, prompts much faster and better as well. You don't have to think about a definition a lot when one is given to you if you already know the term. You can put it into context much better. Another advice, um, instead of memorizing, memorizing questions and answers, is to practice paraphrasing paragraphs and texts. A paragraph is often much more comprehensible if you express it in your own words. So you read it and you express it in your own words. That's paraphrasing. This will as well improve your reading comprehension in the future. You need to practice, obviously, this before you take the exam, and practice makes perfect here. It might be a bit frustrating at the start, maybe you're not, you don't know what to write, you're missing the right words to paraphrase it. Again, start with easy examples, don't pick a difficult scientific text at the start. Pick something simple and easy and just try to rewrite it and then try to challenge yourself step by step and you will get better. Um, another common mistake, uh, in my opinion, is that some students just study the science topic contents, the contents in life science, physical science, and earth and space science. But don't forget to study the soft skills. As we already said, reading comprehension is very, very important and crucial in the GD science test. You will get long texts with many paragraphs. Um, that you have to be able to understand to answer the questions. Analyze the, to be able to analyze graphs and charts and tables, very important skill. You have to be able to understand the scientific method. You have to understand the scientific method by heart. You have to know its steps, how they work. Again, you have to know the key terms here. Uh, what is a dependent variable? What's an independent variable? How does experimental design work? What is a hypothesis in an experiment? What is the control group? What are the experimental groups? You need to be an expert in the scientific method before you go into the science exam. So study the scientific method. Go over examples. Try to look at real life experiments. How did scientists set these up? Why are these good experiments? What could be mistakes in experiments and so on? As well, you need to know some math skills for the science exam, specifically some simple statistical skills like uh, finding the mean of a set of numbers or the mode or the median or the range. So don't forget to study these as well. Another common mistake during test day in the exam is being too overconfident in some questions and answering questions too quickly. So don't answer questions too fast if you think the topic is easy and you know the answer for sure. Read every question carefully and read every answer option before you answer. Especially questions that seem easy can be tricky sometimes and require close reading and an eye for detail. 
take your time for every question and make sure you understand the prompts that are given to you the graph the text often it is helpful to read the question first before you read the prompt so you know what you have to look for but it sometimes may as well distract you from other important information in the text so don't try to look too much for the answer in the text when you read the text the first time take it in fully and try to understand the text and the concepts it presents you again paraphrasing might help here look at the individual paragraphs reading the questions first is probably something helpful to do but again don't get stuck looking for the answer when you read the text the first time you may overlook some very important uh, information often you might even get biased by reading the question first because you maybe already think uh, to know the answer you have an idea what might be the correct answer and you're looking for that in the text maybe it's the wrong answer you're thinking that's the right answer and you're looking for the wrong thing thing in the text so if you read the questions first which can be a helpful thing um, stay open-minded and read the text fully don't look too much for the answer specifically you can do that when you read the text the second time or the third time once you have fully understood the text that is presented to you and the last point obviously panic on test day so don't panic and i mean that you can if, if you're a person that tends to get stressed and panicked on a test day try to get into a different mindset i know this sounds easy probably it isn't might not be easy for you if it is not practice it again these are things that you can practice as well so when you are on test day don't panic what can help you to not start panicking first of all be confident and trust in yourself you have studied by now a lot you have passed the GD ready test the GD ready test has told you that you can pass the test it has as well given you a report and showed you what content areas you still have to improve and what were your weak areas you have studied these again and you got better in them so you are ready for the test you know that so go into the test with this confidence before you start the test, sit down, take a few deep breaths. This helps to calm you down and it will increase your focus. Stay positive in your mind. Don't start thinking negatively. Oh, I don't know the answer to that question. This question is so difficult. This will distract you. Stay positive. Again, stay in that mindset of knowing that you are ready for the test. If you get stuck on a question, flag it and skip it, move on and go back to it later. Move on with a clear mind. If you decide to skip a question, you skip it. Don't keep it in your mind and continue thinking about it while you move on to the next question. But another important thing is don't move on too quickly. If you read a text the first time, maybe you haven't fully understood it and you read the question and you think, oh, I don't know that, I don't know that. Read the text again, again, paraphrase the paragraphs as we apply the skills that I have mentioned before in this video and try to approach the question from different angles. Again, this is a problem solving test. Think about situations or questions that might have been similar that you have solved before. Maybe you can draw from this experience to help you to solve a difficult question. If you can't get to it, skip it. Now, if you're a person who tends to skip, skip many questions, then maybe something is wrong. You need to study more. If you can solve most questions and sometimes have to skip a question then that's fine 
Before you finish the test, return to your flagged questions and approach these questions as a new question. Don't get back to the question being already again in the same situation that you have left it when you skipped it. Just think of it as, okay, this is a new question. Read the text again, read the question again, and just by having that break of having many other questions in between might open up your mind and see the question from a different angle and you're able to answer it now. If time is about to run out, start guessing. Don't leave any questions unanswered. Maybe you're lucky and you have a lucky guess and you get one or two of the questions that you still have to answer right. So never leave any questions unanswered before you finish the test. These are my tips on how to avoid common mistakes in the GD science test. I hope I could help you. If you found this video helpful, please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos of us. This was GD Live at PALS.